Hello, welcome to HCC Movie Makers Academy Movie Reviews. I'm Trey Dixon. And I'm Kevin Simmons. And we just saw the new Amy Winehouse documentary, Amy. Uh, Amy follows the life and career of Amy Winehouse, uh, cataloging her start as a young up-and-coming jazz singer all the way to her downfall with her encounters with drugs and alcohol. We saw this movie together. What did you think of Amy? It's very hard for me to criticize the documentary. Because while there is a narrative that's being formed through the edits, a story that's developing characters, the antagonist and protagonist, just so much, I, I don't want to say I like it or dislike it because this is this woman's well, life, you I, know? I disagree. There is a way to criticize a documentary. Mm -hmm. When a, a documentary can take the high road or it can take the low road. The low road is when it has an opinion and it shoves it down the audience's throat saying, you have to feel this way now because this person blah, 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 or this Such person. as like Zeitgeist in 2000. So, something like that. So with this documentary, they take the high road. Instead of saying, you need to feel this way about Amy Winehouse because she's blah, blah, blah. They show you Amy Winehouse as a person and then allow you to create your own opinion. No, that's true. Well, I mean, if we're speaking purely on the level of documentary, they do do the documentary things, you know, like, oh, here are the bad guys. Here are why they're bad. Here are the good guys. But they never Here's say the it, inherent they? desire. They never, they well, never they do. It's blatant on some parts. Uh, well, yeah, but they, see, they never say it because a person who is a blank slate will feel whatever they feel or a person who has oh, you're, uh, presumptions you're... about who Amy Winehouse is originally, they're going to go ahead and say that they didn't like her or did like her based on what they already knew about her. You know, and now that you say that, I do agree with you. I'm happy they didn't put like a, I'm gonna say a fourth character that's behind everything that's like, oh, I'm the documentarist and I'm asking these people these questions. We are just hearing the recordings, the video, none of it's even modern, it's all, 2000 whatever uh, videos of Amy Winehouse and her associates. The movie does its very best to play it neutral and that's what I, I like about these filmmakers. These filmmakers also made Cinna which is a race car mm -hmm. documentary that I, I, I saw it and I loved it but I have I should preface I have no interest in race cars but <laughs> that movie was so well done and so involving that it made me care about that and I when I went into this movie I knew very little about Amy Winehouse. I knew that she had died young. I knew that she had troubles with alcohol and drugs. Uh, but she was essentially a non-entity to me. I will say and, this. And this movie, it, it paints her in a sympathetic light, but it doesn't force you to believe that. When you look at this documentary, you see a problematic individual who had turbulent struggles with alcohol and drugs, but was also a genuinely passionate person who represented artistry in an industry that very much resembles pandering to the lowest common denominator. Mm -hmm. And that's essentially what this documentary is, is trying to say, that and the media is basically a monster that enjoys lunging on well, it's, wounded it's, animals. It's the media, it's uh, part of it's a critique of an unready artist entering uh, this higher level. Yeah. You know? Because the movie starts off and you see her kind of just doing it for fun in a way. Yeah. And she, well, she's she, going with it, you know? Yeah, she's kind of going with it and she, she does it because she really likes it, not because anyone's telling her to do it, mm -hmm. but because it's something that she loves doing, something that she, she's passionate about. Then it. she finds all these inappropriate coping mechanisms like drugs, relationship. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's, once that happens, you know, I mean, we were around when Amy Winehouse yeah. was getting criticized. It, it was a media feeding frenzy. It was, it was, it was absolutely, it was atrocious what happened. Well, the funny thing is, I, I, I am a very huge fan of Amy Winehouse before Amy Winehouse. I, I saw the documentary, yeah. and I got the Back to Black, and then I went to Frank. Those are excellent albums, and I knew there was a something. There was a personal level in this. Art, the singer's voice. This comes from, the documentary makes a very clear point that her music comes from a very deep, very personal place. Mm -hmm. And But that's part, of, like, I will say this much about the documentary. I might never listen to those two albums again, and those are some of my favorite. Because it just... The it newfound just, meaning, yeah, and just like, I know just, the story. It was so, like, it was so painful to... It, it twists me, and like now, you know, it's like when you learn, like, Free Birds is that artist like most hated song, yeah. I can't listen to Back to Black because I, yeah. I know she just hated singing that song now. I, you know, I, I'm thinking of like rehab and I'm thinking like after how the media destroyed her 
how she would ever feel about that album if she were still alive. I know. That's, that's kind of what a compelling documentary will do. It'll make you ask those kinds of questions. Like, ever since I saw the film, I've been asking myself, God, what would Amy Winehouse think of Ariana Grande or yeah. Taylor Swift or, or well, 2 Chains? Like, like, no, she had her, you know, the Pussycat Dolls and all that kind of like yeah, the she was, early she, 2000s. There was like, there's a great scene where she will we'll mean a moment in the movie where, where they're announcing the Grammy nominations. <laughs> Justin Timberlake's album gets called up. It's, from, it's, called, it's called What Goes Around Comes Around. And she says yeah. <laughs> his album's called What Goes Around Comes Around. Well, she also, yeah. She felt like an artist, you know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, no, that's she. She was genuine, and her music wasn't watered down. While she is a pop star, I don't know. It's just, and it, it, you're right. It's terrible how the media treated her. It's terrible how the the paparazzi hounded her. And you know what? If I took a lesson away from everything, I possibly might never make fun of a celebrity again. Yeah, I mean, I I recognize Amy Winehouse now as a true artist who had genuine passion for what she was doing. Uh, I, you know, we're critics. We're always going to criticize yeah. artists. But, no, well, but, it's but, the proper it, place. It, the, but let's criticize the art and not the yeah, artist. It's just know? that she was, she was ostracized and she, she was destroyed by what the media did to her. And this documentary sort of serves as, as her swan song. This is what it was really like. And it doesn't feel like they're shoving it down your throat. They're showing it to you. They're showing you, okay, what, this, what, is, this, is, this is Amy Winehouse. You can I take her or you can leave her, but whether or not you like it doesn't matter. The point is this is who she was, and that's what I really like about this movie. When I started watching the documentary, like until the 15-minute mark, I was afraid this was going to turn into like a YouTube tribute, or just no. as, like a smash cut of different vids. Well, that's what I was gathering, but then there was this... There was almost a frame or a moment where things shifted, and I felt this narrative develop. Yeah, that, that's what all great documentaries do. Mm -hmm. They manage to take a, a subject that everybody's familiar with, and they manage to make a plot out of it. It has it, this movie has a natural progression. It has a it's kind of a coming of age story in yeah. a way. Well, you know, I will say you know the surface desire of Amy, the, the, who are the these? There are obviously the people that are bad. Who don't like her? You can tell, yeah. but but what's great is that the documentary. I, I keep it does, saying no, it. No. I keep saying it. They never show that to you. But that's well part. That's part of the documentary's ability to understand, not to add that third character who speaks over the documentary. Yeah, like no, you're you're, you're, you're know, supposed you're, to think this. You're, you're supposed watching to. actual. You know, I think they gather all the shit from like NBC. Yeah, I said the word. Yeah, it doesn't matter. <laughs> no one watches us anyway. No, we're all right. Um, but Trey, we're doing good. We're doing good. This is we're doing good, and this documentary is really good. Yeah, it is. Uh, I uh, I think it's probably one of my favorites of the year so far. It, it comes second to another documentary that I saw called Salt of the Earth. Uh, oh, which, good. To do a quick review of that, see it, and uh, I I I found this very very gentle, very genuine, very informative, uh, beautiful, heartbreaking story about a misunderstood okay. artist, and I would highly recommend it to anybody who is a fan of her music or just people who like good filmmaking and like good storytelling. And this this has a lot to say about society and how we as a society treat our stars and treat our artists. And uh, I would say even beyond that. She was just such a human being. Like I, I left that theater almost crying for people that I knew. I, I, there were several moments where I was welling up. I, it, the movie really got me. I, I really love this film. Yeah. And uh, on a scale from one to ten, I'm going really high. I'm going nine out of ten. I'll say that too. Nine, nine out, out of 10. ten. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, that has been our review of Amy. We both highly recommend it. And. Thank you for watching HCC Movie Makers Academy Movie Reviews. We're brought to you by the Houston Community College Filmmaking Program and HCC TV. Visit us online at www.hcs.edu and enroll yourself in the art of filmmaking. We love movies, and if you love movies too, then check out our YouTube channel and subscribe if you would like to receive more alerts to videos just like this one. As always, thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time.